it's time for the news update. Welcoming the Bielsa State Governor to the Akaka prisons in Yenagoa, the state capital, Chiabua, says the jailbreak attempt was unsuccessful because of the mental alertness of the security officials on duty. He, however, ruled out congestion as a primary motive, drawing the commendation of the Bielsa State Acting Governor or the prompt of the prompt response of his men. Acting President Yemi Oshimbajo swore in two federal ministers yesterday. Stephen Ocheni and Suleiman Hassan replaced James Ocholi, who died in a road accident last March. The late Ocholi was Minister of State for Labor, while Mohammed was Minister for Environment. But the portfolios of the two ministers are yet to be announced. Ocheni and Hassan were confirmed by the Senate two months ago. That's all on the news today. Let's find out what's happening with Beyonce in the kitchen. Well, um, now we've cooked our beef. It's pale. It's quite pale right now. So we're about to add the bell peppers. Um, we're adding the bell peppers to it and the chilies, the long chilies. So, meanwhile, we're already frying our plantain by the side. So we stir this up together. And finally, we add our ketchup and chili mix together into the pot. So, right about now, we are almost done. We just need to cook down, cook, let this cook down for about five minutes. And um, we begin to arrange our plates. We bring it together. MM, Something what's looks good here. Every time I'm in the kitchen, everything looks good. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you seem to have magic fingers or magic hands. Okay. Magic fingers and yes. hands. Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So you call this plantain sloppy, sloppy joe. Sloppy joe. Is the, I thought the J was always silent. Who? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, so that's minced meat in there. Yes, minced meat in here. We cooked it with onion and garlic with olive oil. And um, after cooking it, we added bell peppers and chilies to it. Okay. Chilies is just for a little bit of heat into it. Um, while we added, we mixed um, um, chili sauce and ketchup together. Okay. And it's in. So What's the essence of the ketchup? Well, sloppy joe is um, traditionally a messy um, sandwich, an okay. American messy sandwich. So, okay. um, it's just to make it look messy. That's, that's why uh, they added it. So really, I'm just infusing um, um, the concept from sloppy joe and adding it to planting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this so is about... So you have about yellow pepper there, yes. you have green pepper, yeah. you have red pepper. Yeah, and see how colorful it, it okay. looks. Can you also have carrots? Or yes, yes, why not? So however, you could add whatever carrots, vegetables. vegetables, you know, any kind of vegetables. You can add celery, you can add... You can add anything you want into it. Oh, you know. great, fantastic. It's, you know, it's, um, it's like a blank canvas, you know, you could just play around with it. Okay. So, so it's something easy to make at home. Can always make this at home. Oh, great! And then for the plantains, yeah. do they have to be chopped, sliced in that uh, in those sizes? Well, or do you chop them or do you? You know, I I have an, I have something I want to recreate. I want it to look like a burger, a long burger. Ooh, okay. So um, that is why we're cutting it that long. That, okay. Yeah. So you could just cut it up anyhow you want. How, it. Anyhow you want. And it. you don't necessarily have to fry it. You you can also roast it. Oh, okay. Yes. Any other options? Apart from plantains, you can you use yams? Can you use bread? Can you use yes? You what could are the use options? Um, you could use yam. Okay. Yam, you know, uh, but I, <laughs> <find yam. laughs> I don't really like yam. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but definitely burger bread. Oh, yeah, this will go very well with yeah, burger bread. Yeah. Okay. So where does this come in? Well, we have it's just to make here. the plate look nice. This and this to make the plate look really nice. Okay. Oh. You know, garnishing. Yes, garnishing. Everything has to come together. Everything is a total piece. All right. So the food is almost ready. As we can see, I'm pretty excited about this. My mouth is watery. And I'm already feeling a rumble in my tummy already. <laughs> it has to rumble. If it doesn't rumble, let me just walk out. Because, <laughs> uh, <Right. laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, it's you, though. Like, you know. it's you. <laughs> All right. So this is coming out pretty well. Yes, it is. Um, so um, in about five minutes, we're, it's done. And um, 
by the time we're, we're done with the next segment, you okay. know, food will be ready will be, you know, and uh, ready to yes. eat. Yes, except for Yomi and um, Titi. <laughs> They did not come in to take selfie with Judy, <laughs> so no food for them. Okay, so I already imagined sausages in here, just to add a little bit of, for those of us who like, that's so, like much, an so much food. You, you, that, that's and prawns. An oh, I imagine prawns in here, my you, gosh. <laughs> you want to overkill your food. Really? Just, just go with mincemeat now. If you want to do the prawns and, and sausages, you could just do something different. You know, you could create another sauce for it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, with mincemeat, it's, it's an overkill. Okay, but you could have prawns instead of mincemeat. Uh, yes, you can have prawns. I mean, those instead. are another yes, options. Yes, yes, yes. That's you could, another option. You could, you could coat your prawns in chili sauce. Yeah, mm. we could get we get to that, you know, where, where I'm going to do something with seafood. Ooh, I'm Even pretty. if I'm allergic to seafood. Oh, you are? Yes, Why? I am. Uh, I don't know. One day, I just woke up and I ate crayfish and I realized, okay, my throat was getting tight and my eyes were popping and I'm like, Are you okay, serious? what is happening here? So I decided to try um, um, prawns, same results, shrimp, same results. So I was just like, okay, seafood is not my thing. You know, growing up, we always thought that anyone who doesn't eat seafood is an Ogbanji. <laughs> no offense, I'm not saying you are. Well, but that was just the from, impression going on. I am on. from a state where we have plenty of <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm from Badagri, so oh. you might think I'm going to Well, you know. okay. So this is about done. Okay. This is, this is, in fact, this is done. So when do you know when it's done? Yeah. How do you know when it's done? Um, really, it's just for, the, 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 we cooked the mince down already. Okay. So we just added the chili sauce. So um, adding the chili sauce and everything is just for the chili sauce to cook down, you know, so then you know it's done. Because the mince is already done. Okay, what are, for those who cannot afford chili sauce, what do mm. you suggest? Well, well, you can use ketchup and use plenty pepper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the idea is for it to be spicy. Yes, you know, you don't want... It, ketchup is too sweet. Okay. You know? So you need something to cut it, you know, you need to cut down the sweetness. Sweetness, so okay. You can add something spicy to it. To oh. Just, you know, and uh, in fact, this is not even spicy enough, trust me, I, I don't even eat pepper. Compared to some people, so you know, I once ate the first time I went to my cousin's place in Abuja. Yeah, um, that was when I relocated to Abuja. I had their food and I was like, "Excuse me, did you did you add pepper to the food?" <laughs> can I try this? Yes, you can. Okay. You can. So then one of my housemates, yes, in the Big Brother house, she actually cooks. She she thinks she cooks noodles. Though. No, she adds <laughs> she adds noodles to the pepper. <laughs> Yes, Whoa. they used to call her pepper unnecessary. Marvis, Marvis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's coming up pretty nicely. So this is, um, well, I'm sure you, can, you, you, you don't need to have just this one. This is not just for breakfast. You could also have it for lunch, for dinner, right? Well, yes, but not after lunch. You don't try this after. But oh, like really? I said, this is like, this is like a comfort food. Okay. Something you could just, Snack when you're happy, on. just eat it and all and just feel good. It's a feel good food. Feel good food. Yes. I love that. Feel good. Feel good food. Hmm. So this, that is about done. That is done. Okay. So we're frying the plantain. Well, plantains are very easy. Anyone who can only make plantains. Ah. Yes. Yeah, the normal way we fry plantains. Nothing complex. Like I said, you could either roast it or you could fry it. But, you know, I want to fry it. Because I want to feel good today. <laughs> With lots of calories. <laughs> well, plantains are good. They're proteinous. They're... Um, and then we have minced meat. Um, it's also protein as well. And then we have vegetables. That, that's a lovely balanced diet combination. Yeah. Yes, wonderful balance. So can you also try ripe plantains with this for those for yes, diabetic yeah, patients? Yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. You could, you could definitely try on ripe plantains with okay. this. Okay. Could definitely try it with this. I wonder what Yomi will call this at the end of the day. Maybe Kendeli, Kendeli or Owara really or one of those things, those funny names. Yes. He gives. He gives food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. um, when this is done, okay. what we're just going to do is arrange it in between it and just stick Ooh, it. Wow. Have a skewer stick to so stick it in. And, oh, you know, okay, we have this. We have yeah, the skewer. Do uh, I take this off? Uh, yes, you can take it off. Okay. So our, we have our meat made off yeah. the gas cooker. Yes. So our skewer stick is just... But we still have a few. Let me yeah. check this out. Okay. 
You know, I'm not used to using this to fry anything. Yeah, this. Especially plantains. <laughs> I'll rather use a fork so it doesn't splash. Let me get you your fork. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Yes. Okay, so we have more plantains. Yes, more okay. plantains. So let's see what you do with the skewers. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I could just put this in for you. Yes. Okay. Just thank you. So basically, uh, we get the plates. Um, first of all, we arrange it, you know. Like I said, this is for garnish to make the plate look beautiful. Yep. And we do this. Um, yeah. So we make the plate a little messy with lots of this, you know. Um, we take it like this, like this. More of this. You know, it's, it has to look messy. It's, it's a sloppy joe. It's, okay. It looks messy. So that is looking good already. Yep. Oh, wow. I can't wait to taste this. I can't yeah. wait to taste this. Beautiful combination. But we'll be right back to check out how this tastes in our mouth. But wow. till then, over to you, Titi. Wow. Okay, so I hope you, you all can't hear my stomach rumbling, as in I'm hearing sounds. Mion said, what's going on now? This food should be ready by now. Okay, so this is the segment I've been most excited about. I'm going to let you in on... The importance of lingerie shopping after this. Admit it, ladies, a lot of us need tips on how to go about shopping for lingerie. I'm right here at a store. We'll be talking to a lingerie stylist. So let's know what's up and what's trending in the lingerie world. This is called an underwire. Yes. It's underwire, it's not padded. Oh. So once it's underwire, it's not padded. This is a padded. Right. Now this one has underwire, so that's oh. pad. Now if you want that smooth, round look, you know, you probably want to go for a padded. Yes. Then for some t-shirts, you need something smooth like this. Oh. So, so you don't have um, all the little things poking out of a t-shirt or even something like sheer material, you need something small, like that. I think a lot of people are doing to embrace matching their underwear. You wear the same but you wear the pants. You wear the same pants. And that makes it just look beautiful if you match them. For occasions, I know people have, we've seen a lot of these everywhere. Yes, exactly. I wanted yeah. to mention that, so, you know, outfit now seems seamless, like you don't have no bag. No bag. Okay, yes. No, so most not, of yeah, those things, yeah, are, they have adhesives. On the side, this is a black up with wings. So you take this out and um, make sure you add your body, your body is clean, your skin is clean, and all of that. No lotion and all of that. So just like stick it to your side, so it stays under the armpit. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it stays glued for glued as long for, as you yeah, want to wear it. So oh, it's okay. under your armpit. So when you're done, you need to just fix this back. Okay. Oh, okay so. for the next use. Yeah, for the next use. So just fix it back and then that's that's that. What's this called then, anyways? Adhesive? That's a backless adhesive. Okay, backless adhesive. Backless adhesive. This has been open but just what it looks like. Oh okay. So so you yeah, just glued? Yes. Yeah, you is, this is glued to oh, okay. to the breast and is there uh, no medical effects, chemicals and Well most of the adhesive are medical grade adhesives. So. Let's talk about fancies as well. Yeah. Measurement for Yeah, the same for the measurement. Oh, okay. Like if you're a size 8, you probably want to wear extra small, small. Now, this is not, they may look the same in front, but the back is always different. This is a tongue. Now, this is different because, again, the back hair is all lace, it's not going to show lines. Oh, okay. It's seamless. So, okay. when you wait on tight fitting clothes, you won't see any line. It just looks good. Now, another thing that is trending is bodysuits. You see a lot of people wearing bodysuits. Laundry has outerwear. You want to wear a lot of outerwear. So you see a lot of trends like this in Vogue. And um, people just wear this bodysuit, just wear your jacket on it. 
that's it oh okay it's oh, yeah. a bra so, it's a panties and you just one just item just exactly wear. this is really and you're good easy. to go there's another one this is a cup padded okay it's padded too so no, this is padded. not padded. No, they're not padded. This okay. is not padded. You can wear this like this, then just put on a jacket. But you know, if you can bend off, mm -hmm. if you, you can do this. After you're old and you want to get on, you need to just put on something nice. Okay. So have like a good, nice pyjama or sleepwear. Okay. Don't sleep just wear. sleep in anything. You know, wear something really nice. You know, wear something nice. So these are like shorts. And you know, this little one, yeah. Then this is a boss here. We've been talking about what is the boss here. On what occasion do you wear this to sleep? Because I can feel he the has... bone in. <laughs> you can wear it out. Oh, okay. You can wear Oh, okay. You can wear it as an outerwear. Mm, okay. And if you're wearing it to sleep, most of this thing comes with a tongue or a tie with a match. If you're wearing a panty, you're also like dressing the whole assembly, putting on your own tie, the tie highs, you're attaching the suspenders to the tie highs. And Looking at all of this, I think it's easy to be a lingerie addict. This is a know, dangerous right? thing. It's not. It's That's just something that you love to do because when you, when you have good lingerie on, it just gives that kind of confidence. Oh my god, I know I'm looking good today. And just in case maybe something happens to you somewhere, you have to take off your clothes and like. Oh yeah, <laughs> exactly, you, you need that confidence. And trust your laundry. Laundry. <laughs> exactly. Do for you. Okay. This is a perfect type of shape for you. Then if you're wearing something that is a bit tight, somehow you need something like a tongue, like a shipping tongue like this. Okay. You see what it looks like at the back. Oh, Nobody sees any lines. Oh yeah. So you don't see the lines. You don't see that you're wearing any shape. So you just only have your tummy covered. Everything is and covered, you're and you're fine. Nobody sees the lines. There's another bodysuit, which is this comes with a back cover as well. If you want to talk in everything from from the boobs to okay. everything, yeah, this okay. comes with a back cover. So that's top that. Yeah, and don't forget, it comes in different sizes. You small, you medium, extra large, extra, extra duple large. Yes, like yes. a skirt. This is a shaping skirt. Yes. It's not um, just your narrow skirt. Inside it, it will oh. shape a shot. Oh. That tucks in everything. Oh, okay. So if you're wearing your Owambe, you wear Boba kind of thing. Okay. So you know you, you don't need to you want to wear a skirt because it's a skirt. It's a transparent oh, lace, for okay. example. So okay. this can work. And it has the thing that tucks in the tummy underneath it. Then it has a skirt covering it. Wow, there is literally so much I didn't know about underwear I learned just now. I have to give a big shout out and hug to Tayo, Sheon Tayo Balogun, who's in the studio with us. Thank you so much for it's making really nice it. to meet you, Titi. It's now a pleasure. You look, you look amazing. Thank you, you and amazing. you too. Now, there's so much about underwear that the average woman probably hasn't considered. Right. You know, um, I'm thinking when I'm a, a teenager, I'm growing up, you know, parts of me are beginning to expand and contract and mm -hmm. look different. You know, what is the first thing people need to know about good underwear? Okay, um, one of the things I think everybody needs to know, first you have to know who you are as a person. Where is your pain areas? Do I, is my stomach bulgy? Mm. Do I have back fat? You know, mm. whatever it is, you need to know who you are. Mm. So that will determine what you're buying. Mm. So if you're someone who is on the big side and you're not so slim, you need to also understand that I can't just buy any kind of boy. You need to buy what's going to pack you, like mm. a full cup with mm. underwire mm. that will lift the girls. Because at all times, when we're putting on a boy, you need to stay at the natural level, okay. this level. Okay. That's where you're going. So you don't want it to be drooping or you don't want it to be lifting up like, you know, the cascade coast. Coste, yeah. Coste look. Yeah, exactly. That, you know, <laughs> everything is all in your throat like that. Yeah. So you want it to just stay in the right place. Mm. So knowing who you are will determine what kind of cup should I go for. And again, what's your breast shape? Mm. Is it full mm. or is it, you know, sometimes there's this thing about um, 
the fruits that we eat, yeah. like mangoes, like yeah. um, you know, <laughs> mangoes, uh, what? watermelon. Yeah. You know, we have different breast shapes, so okay. it depends on what shape you had. I'll determine what you should buy. So know okay. yourself, know the kind of person you are, know what's comfortable on you. Mm. Then I'll go for the laundry that fits to you hard. That's okay. So if I'm a mango thing. shape, right, in my bust line, right? right. If mm -hmm. I am, there's a certain type of bra I shouldn't buy. Exactly. And then if I'm like a watermelon shape, mm -hmm. a lot rounder and fuller, mm -hmm. right? There's a type of bra I shouldn't should buy. buy. Yeah. So this is the kind of advice you give to women that come mm -hmm. to buy from you? Yes, that's the kind of advice. Um, for example, if you're watermelon, that's yeah. a full. Yes. I, I think a balcony okay, would a balcony. actually pack. Can you give me an you example know? of a balcony bra? Is there anyone okay, here? Okay, this seems like it to some extent. Okay, to a, so a balcony bra is... Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's kind of... It will pack you in, yeah. it's wider, it goes all the way to the top, then it just gives you a little, a little you know, it shows a little bit of cleavage, it doesn't okay. show everything. Okay. Then if you're so big and you're so gifted, the mm. girls are really big, you're mm. going to like the double K cups. Yes. You need a full cup. A Most full times, cup. Because you don't want those things to just be falling out. Okay. When the boobs start to fall out of the bra, then it's not your size. Okay. When well, you have to be adjusting the straps all the time, yeah. then again, it's not your size. Okay. When, you, when the underwire is poking you, mm. it's also not your size. So like All this right. is an underwire. It's okay. made to fit the particular cup of mm. the person that is using it. That's so what they call it. So it would cups. be a different underwire if it was a balcony cup to if it was a full cup. No, it's the same. Shape. It's the same underwire, but it's just the cut of the bright that is different. Okay. Now okay. this is a um, balcony. Mm. A full right. cup will cover the Everything. entire breast. You won't see anything. The balcony will still leave a little bit of clip, but it has this cut like this. All right. You know, something so, like that. So I have to ask. <clears throat> you know, whenever, okay, for the men that are watching, um, there's always two things to look out for when sizing underwear, okay. like bras. There's the number and there's the letter. So right. what does the letter represent and okay. what does the number represent? Now, the number, it's the band. Okay. And the band is like your body size. So and the band, the number, mm. has to be even. Okay. So it's like 30, okay. 32, 34, 34, 36, and it progresses up to 50. Wow. So someone wearing a 50 band, that means the person is really big. Wow. You know, but a 28 person is very skinny, probably mm. like a size 6, UK size 6. Then you have the cup. Now you can have the cup, that's the alphabet. It starts from the A, the B, the C, up to double K. All right. So that's quite big. So you can have somebody who is really small, mm. the body shape is small, but they are busty. Okay. So you have so like a number... 30 double K. That's an example. Okay, so the number is like your waist size. Not necessarily. It's more like right your under you. bus size. Under bus size. Yeah, is there a measuring yeah, tape Yeah, there is a measuring tape. Can I you, could can actually you show me? do a measurement Please, for you right now. Please, show me where so, the number is supposed to be. Now, this is the under bust. Under bust is yeah. right here. Okay. So, so right there. So you measure the under bust. It has to be tight. Okay. So you get an accurate um, breast so, size. So, what, so what's my under bust right now? 34.5. Oh, I've lost and some weight. Yeah, then... <laughs> Then the overbust, okay. there are two measurements. This is going to help us to get the cup size okay. when I measure the overbust. Okay. So what the overbust is on, you know, the level where the nipple are. So okay. you would take a measurement around that. So area. that's like a... What a tailor's measure most of the time is you go and make it right. Okay. So this is um, 41. So 41 would be what letter now? Now in this situation, you have underbust at 4.5. Yeah. That's not even. True. So I have to round it up. To 30... To the nearest even number, which is like 36. In okay. this situation. Okay. And that also tells me that you're like a size 12 or 14. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Because I know, I could know that you're close size from your underbus size. Okay. So I would subtract the overbust, which is 42 from 36. Okay. So that gives me a double D. A double D? Yes. Really? So I don't know what, what you're wearing <laughs> right now. If, if it's a padded or mm. a push-up, okay. it won't give me an accurate measurement. Okay. But at least from what I've measured now, I have an idea of what size you would yet wear. Maybe okay. it's a six double D. Okay, so I don't want to tell the world what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> so, but I've never, you know, considered being a double D before. Right. Maybe it is what I'm wearing right now that's making that happen. Okay. But I'm not wearing anything too padded. Let me put it that okay. way. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to be so careful here. I know. All right. So if you're buying me underwear, you know, that's for my husband. Okay. Anyway. Said thirty four. 36 double D, just so you know. <laughs> just so you know. He has an idea, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> so, you know, All right, that's so, a measurement. But I, I'm seeing a lot of other things here, other items. Yeah. Like, for instance, this. What is this called? This is a chemise. Chemise? Yes. Or? And um, okay. this one has an alternate neck. Okay. It has lace at the back. Okay. 
and it's also it has a slit mm. so this is beautiful you know you just got married or you've been married for a while mm -hmm. you want to bring sexy back oh <laughs> dear me so this is good for those situation when you mm. just want to look good and it's comfortable mm. so even if you have a little bit of fold hair and there this yeah. is good because it's just free flowing it's okay. not tight mm. even when you're pregnant you can still wear this okay because fantastic. It's flare but it doesn't really good. cover much i have to say it looks very transparent. Is that the whole idea? That's the whole idea. It has okay. to be transparent. So mm. if, you, if you want something like um, maybe you want to be oily and or stuff more like modest. that. Or more modest. Do you have anything more modest? <laughs> sure, please. yeah. There are a lot of more things. modest women. <laughs> right. You can wear stuff like this. Okay. You know, this is like um, a sleep and it's long all the way. It's oh, satin. Wow. This is and, you know, so it's, nice. It's, it's, it's nice. So if you want a bit of modesty and you also mm. want to look beautiful at the okay. same time. You can go for stuff like this. Okay, I'm not going to put this too close to me. So people don't start imagining me what in my What is going to look like wear. on you? No, please. Stop. And, and for, <laughs> for the days when you actually were wearing this and you want to be a, want to be a bit modest, mm. you can wear it with... Um, with, with something on top? Yeah, exactly. Okay. With, a, with, a, with a robe most times. Mm. That feels really like nice this, though. It does. Like, you know, <clears> you can wear stuff like this. It comes in my birthday a lot is coming up. colors. You know, it has <laughs> lace on it. So if you have to just tap out of your bedroom, you know, just put oh, this over. Oh, this is really over cute. The transparent one, the okay. chain is. All about. right, so all you right. Can, you can do that. Okay, so now I have to say, for women that have been buying underwear for themselves for such a long right. time, you know, I'm thinking maybe they might not have been buying things that um, their partners really, really like. Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, a shout out to all the husbands out there who you know are probably a little modest about going to buy, buy underwear, underwear for so what what advice would you give to them i would actually say that a lot of men should go out there and buy underwear for their wives mm. because apart from um buying it it mm. also helps you to know your wives better okay because you will know her breast you have to know her breast size you have mm. to know her size you would have to know her statistics okay so it's, it's it makes you closer because you know everything mm. she does so please i encourage the men out there if you're married please just go out Mm. Go with your wife and let her pick the things she loves so you can even know who she is. Mm. Because there are many things we don't talk about ourselves that we actually have. For mm. example, you may not tell your husband that you want to wear something very transparent. Mm. But when you pick it out in a store, oh my God, the yeah. guy is thinking is that. So she loves that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I okay. thought she was modest. Okay. I thought she, you know, yeah. she's a prayer warrior. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but I think stuff. it's about asking questions. We okay. have to really take a break now. But there are many more questions I'll be asking you when we go to the break. Up next, we have the book review with Sheung. I really can't wait to learn something new.